The Harvard Graduate School of Education, working at the nexus of practice, policy, and research. So EcoMove is a project that's funded by the Institute for Education Sciences, and EcoMove stands for Ecological Move, and Move is a multi-user virtual environment. For about 18 years, I've been involved with immersive interfaces of different kinds. In immersion, you feel as if you're somewhere, but you're not physically there. And this is in a, a virtual world. It's kind of like a video game where kids can go into the world and they're represented by an avatar. So the virtual environment that we built for, for EcoMove is a pond environment. And it's really cool to be using the pond environment in Cambridge because the kids in Cambridge can go to the pond that our virtual world is based on. We're developing digital ecosystems, helping students understand their content, science inquiry, and the complex causality that underlies ecosystems. Oh my goodness, the kids love these things. They, um, they absolutely had a ball uh, in the virtual world. They love being able to explore, um, especially underneath the water and see all the organisms move around. Uh, and in the, pond, in the true pond environment, the real pond environment, the kids had a blast going all over, mucking around in, uh, on the edges of the pond. And one of the favorite things that they got to do was actually catch some fish. So we are trying to teach them about both ecosystem science and complex causality. But on that day uh, at the Cambridge Science Fest, I was most excited about getting the kids to appreciate the connections between the real world and what they were seeing in the virtual world. What we hope to show with projects like the EcoMove is that no longer do classrooms have to be isolated from the real world, that we can simulate authentic, powerful experiences for students in classrooms. It was a really neat comparison for a lot of the kids to be able to see what was going on in a virtual environment and have some context for that and then go out into the real world and go on a field trip and see things that were happening in the real pond. The fertilizer was it, that in the virtual ecosystem fertilizer was used which created algae growth and produced oxygen and that produced overpopulation of fish and since they didn't have enough prey after that um, uh, a lot of fish died. A lot of kids asked us to be able to play uh, with EcoMove at home and that was really satisfying because they clearly enjoyed it enough that they want to keep playing with it even after a, a short Saturday afternoon activity. I feel as if as a parent I'm leaving my children a very troubled situation with truly wicked problems like the global financial meltdown, global climate change, terrorism, and so on. And all of these are based on complex causality. So as an educator, I feel it's really important that we develop powerful ways of teaching complex causality so that our kids, as they grow up, don't make some of the same mistakes that my generation has made.